Hello kids, this is Nadia Ma from Artbeat and welcome to Artbeat Online Art Sessions. And uh, we are almost finishing our this month's theme which is Incredible India. It is quite sad for me because I really want to work on this more and more. So no problem, even though if this month's theme is ending, we will be getting some new excited theme for the next month. And also you can always work on this month's theme whenever you get time, we, you can probably create some more uh, exciting things about India, about the Indian culture, tradition, everything. So you can work on your own and you can always share the pictures with your beautiful, pretty faces in Google Classrooms, okay? And coming back to this worksheets which we are doing today. So we have worksheet 30 and 40. So in worksheet 13, we will be uh, doing a pencil sketch of the tiger. Anyone likes tiger or anyone hates tiger because it's a carnivorous animal? No? Yes, good. So now uh, talking about the tiger, it's our national animal. <coughs> so talking about the worksheet 13 and 14. So in worksheet 13, we will be drawing, I mean, uh, we will be using a graphite pencils to create a pencil shading of a tiger. Of course, we all know that tiger is our national animal. Why is tiger a national animal? not lion because lion is the king of jungle but why not lion is that an interesting question or is that a boring question no if it is boring or interesting but i want the answers i'll be waiting for your answers i want different kinds of answers let me see who will answer this properly so in our next class i'll be just asking you what is why is the tiger our national animal and why not lion okay so please prepare for the answers and now we will talk about the worksheets wherein we will be doing a pencil shading of the tiger where you will be learning about the texture, the hair texture wherein it comes in a gradient sheet uh, from light to dark or dark to light and you will be learning how to form the hair of the animal and uh, the face anatomies, everything you will be knowing about in this worksheet and uh, going to worksheet 14 you will be drawing a dancing lady. So it's dancing lady means not any other dance, of course, it is our Indian dance, which is Bharatanatyam. So two Bharatanatyam girls, like it's like an abstract one and you cannot uh, see most of the details like the face or the jewels or the dress properly. So it will be an abstract art. That's really beautiful. And so to create this uh, two girls dancing, so we will be using our oil pastels and uh, we will be smudging it to uh, create the smooth effect of the abstract so basically we are doing an abstract in oil pastels so uh, kind of different yes come let's go start something new and something different so for this worksheet we are going to need our hp pencil and a razor and a sharpener also we need our other drawing pencils like 2b and 4b also we need a cotton bag for blending okay so now let's start with our drawing so first you have to remember that we have to write the name and the teacher's name okay and later we'll start our artwork with drawing a line so why are we drawing a line because uh, we have to create the tiger's face so we divide it into two equal halves and i'm just creating the uh, tiger's face by using a circle shape and exactly on the line i'm drawing the nose and the mouth of the tiger Okay, here I'm uh, just showing you the step by step. So you need not draw uh, three to four faces like this. So you can just follow all the steps in one image and utilize the complete artist frame in order to draw any of the artworks. Okay. So now I have made the eyes and the detailings of the nose and the mouth and all. So now let's uh, come to the complete part. Wherein I again draw a line. So that's the reason I told you to just uh, draw one single line and uh, create all the steps which I have done. Okay, make sure you first draw it very light. And so if you, in case you make any mistakes, you can erase it easily and you can correct it. Or else the pencil marks will be visible which makes our artwork very ugly. So now I'm just uh, doing the second step which I did and please make sure that your pencil is sharp enough. So now I'm using my 4B pencil for the darker shades wherein the stripes of the tiger is there no? so to create that one. And also I'll be using the cotton bud for the blending purpose. 
and do not apply too much of uh, pressure on your cotton bud apply a little pressure and blend it neatly and then i'm using the 4b pencil for the eye purpose and the stripes purpose and even for the highlighting the nose and the mouth i'm using the 6b pencil I'm just giving a light shade and using the 6P pencil, I'm doing the stripes of the tiger. Just making the hair of the tiger here. And only near the face, I'm giving the darker shade. So please remember all these things when you're uh, drawing a tiger. I have erased the pencil marks and now it is looking neat and good, isn't it? So practice this again and again and remember art is always a good start and we'll meet you in the next session. Bye-bye.